Quick lesson in Nikola Tesla's multi-point antenna transmission. Check this out. With multiple antennas, we can create different alternating current wavelengths of electron charges oscillating within the ground. Additionally, each wavelength can be driven at whatever frequency we desire. Now, imagine a hexagonal array of antennas. No, go bigger, but the size of a city. Wrap the whole world in it. No, wait, 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 wait. Let's take a step back here. Hold on, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Now, imagine the electron charges in the ground oscillating like a, like a drum head up and down. We can create different wavelengths or we can create different frequencies. We can create different resonances, different nodes, different antinodes. The strings of electric charges in the ground will exhibit a similar phenomenon as the resonant harmonics of a guitar string. When you hold the one half point of a guitar string and let go, it will continue that same wavelength because it is a resonant harmonic of the guitar string's whole bass note. Analogously, when we use the hexagonal array to force wavelengths into the ground that are harmonics of the Earth's geometry, we get a similar effect. Each of these antennas are like the paddles on the walls of a wave pool. Individually controlled, it can create many different patterns and resonances.